Hi, I'm Mark Munoz, and you're watching MMA Knit. Sebastian Bill Martinez, MMA Knit here with Mark Munoz, who faces Gegard Mousasi in the main event of UFC Fight Night Berlin on Saturday. So, Mark, you're here in Europe, in uh, Germany. You've been here since uh, what, Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you enjoying it so far? I love Berlin. I love Berlin. I love it. Uh, I love it here. Very historic city. Um, you know, I visited the Berlin Wall, Checkpoint Charlie, uh, the Brandenburg Gate. So, I mean, uh, I'm I'm a tourist, man. I do it all. So, um, but it's it's been fun, man. Along with all the responsibilities I have here, so Berlin is a great city. I love it. And you got a big fight coming up. Main event of your first main event, if I'm not mis no second, second, third. <laughs> there we go, third main event. Uh, and it's against a you know former champion. Yeah. A lot at stake. You both want to get back in the win column. Yeah. Give us your thoughts on the, this middleweight matchup. Uh, this is a great middle, uh, middleweight matchup. Um, it's a classic, classic um, fight between striker and grappler. Mm. You know, so um, this fight, this fight's going to be one whoever can um, keep the dis keep their distance, um, or close the distance. Yeah. You know, so uh, so yeah, I've, I'm very well prepared for this fight, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, as you mentioned, distance is obviously plays a big part. Masasi is known for a very active jab and for keeping that distance. What are what have you done, and what are you planning on doing to sort of neutralize that strength of his? Yeah, so he's always been uh, Gegard Musasi has always controlled the distance quite well, and his Muay Thai is is amazing. So um, I've been I've been working with some top Muay Thai fighters. Um, Joe Schilling being one. Another one is Jacob Poss. I also have some very good strikers in my gym and Tom Watson, but uh, uh, and then I have my Muay Thai coach, who is um, Alex Palma, who has been helping me quite a bit in in closing the gap and and uh, being unpredictable. And so um, I feel good in my striking, sure. you know, and you know striking striking with those Muay Thai guys has taught me a lot. And uh, Joe Schilling is one of the best out there. He won the Glory tournament, and you know he uh, he's actually competing in Glory as well. So I'm very excited for this fight. Very excited. My preparation has been on point. Um, my conditioning is amazing. So I'm gonna test his conditioning too. Let's see if he can last five rounds. One of your, uh, like you said, he's very known for his distance. One thing that you're very known for is your patent and ground and pound technique, uh, which has been dubbed Donkey Kong punches. <laughs> and uh, I want to get into that a little bit. Uh, that yeah. term Donkey Kong punches, is it you? Or is it, who, who came up with that term? No, my, uh, my former manager came up with that. He goes, he goes, you ever, uh, you ever seen yourself ground and pound somebody? I said, no, 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 why? He goes, you know, it's, it's kind of reminiscent of Donkey Kong. He goes, you know, you need to do something about that, you know. Say, say like, Donkey Kong's coming out or something. I was like, okay. <laughs> and ever since I did, ever since I said that, it's caught on like a wildfire. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's been crazy because now pe pe people know me as like, oh, yeah, you're going to throw your Donkey Kong punches now? So I'm like, wow, this is crazy. So, um, so yeah, I'm known for that. And... Uh, you definitely, you definitely don't want to be underneath me when I'm on top of you, because I definitely find a place to punch. It can be your face, it could be your body, it could be your leg, it could be your arm, it could be your hip. It doesn't matter. Damage is going to happen to that part of the body. Well, we've definitely seen that in a lot of your fights. Now, uh, obviously, your nickname, the Filipino Wrecking Machine, you've got a proud heritage. I mean, you've seen they've been planning an event in the Philippines, and it looks like it's being delayed now, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a no-brainer to put you on a potential Philippines card. And how sort of what was your reaction? How disappointed are you that it's not going to take a while? Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed because it's a dream of mine to fight in the Philippines. I mean, that's where it all started for my parents, and um, I'm I'm Filipino. I'm very Filipino um, from the culture to the tradition to the dance to the food to the dress, everything. I'm, you know, I'm I'm, I'm a Filipino guy through and through. So um, having not having the opportunity not fighting in the Philippines, it did kind of made my heart sink. 
Um, but you know what? Uh, they're going to have an event, and you know, uh, I don't. It's going to be delayed, and I don't know how far how far it's going to be belayed, delayed. But I'm looking I'm looking forward to headlining that card and and fighting for my home country. Well, as someone who is, as you say, very Filipino, could you sort of give us a breakdown of what the MMA scene is like in the Philippines? Yeah, in the Philippines, it's a growing market. Um, there, obviously boxing is amazing there because of the pioneer Manny Pacquiao Um, and Manny Pacquiao he's he's just he's a charismatic leader when it comes to combat sports out there in the Philippines MMA has caught on Uh, it's caught on quite a bit now there's you when you go there there's there's a lot of MMA gyms there's actually good uh, fighters there in um, you know Edward Foliang, Mark Adiva you know, there's guys that are coming up um, that are amazing fighters, and that's just to name uh, uh, two of them. Yeah. And there's 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 awesome fighters out there. So, um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to helping um, promote the sport out there in the Philippines, and also helping the fighters get better as far as wrestling, because um, they definitely need some wrestling, and uh, I would love to go there and help them out with wrestling. I'm sure those Filipino fighters could benefit from such a merited wrestler. Now, uh, getting back to your fight, uh, you're going to be here in Berlin. No, and uh, sort of, what do you think the fans should expect of this fight? I think a lot of people are, as you say, it's built up as a striker versus grappler. But in practice, when people are sitting there in the O2 arena, what if what's going to go down? Hmm. Fireworks. A lot of bombs are going to be thrown. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a war, um, and I'm not expecting anything less than that um, the fight's going to be everywhere it's going to be on the feet it's going to be on the cage it's going to be on the ground it's going to be back on the feet again it's going to be on the ground and cage i mean it's going to be everywhere you know this, this fight's going to be like i said one in transition yeah. and whoever can transition smoothly and and first is going to win the fight also it's about distance yeah. you know so uh so yeah so it's going to be an amazing fight don't blink because you can miss something those are exactly the kind of fights that fans and UFC President Dana White look forward to. That's right. This is Sebastian Martinez, MMA Minute here with the Filipino wrecking machine, Mark Munoz.